this is Mark here from Mark's Reviews and Tutorials, which also happens to be Mark from Nillimbic Pool and Spa Service. And today I want to talk to you sunblock. Um, with all these pool chemicals, the really important thing to do is to read this part of the packaging. Active constituent cyanuric acid, fast dissolving stabilizer. Um, this product um, is a bit of a shocker to dissolve, but it's absolutely brilliant. If you've got a saltwater chlorinator on your pool or if you're dosing with liquid chlorine, it's absolutely essential um, that you put this sunblock in. You only need to have it in there in the summer um, when there's a lot of sun around. But what it does, it's often called and sold as pool stabilizer. And stabilizer, what it actually does, it puts like a sunscreen in the water and it stops the sun just ripping the chlorine out so quickly. So it's gonna save you a lot of money in chlorine, but not only that, the chlorine you add is gonna be around and last longer, so therefore your pool's going to be safer. So if you're using liquid chlorine or a saltwater chlorinator, it's absolutely essential. If you're using a sodium-based chlorine, either tablets, sodium trichlor, isocyanurate, or um, the granular, which is sodium, normally sodium dichlor, isocyanurate, that actually has a bit of this in it. So you don't need to add it as a separate product. So the great big once a week tabs, they are sodium trichlor, isocyanurate. Did you hear that? Cyanuric acid. So they have it in it. So granular sodium based or granular or tablet sodium based chlorine, you don't need to add it, it's already there. But if you're using calcium hypochlorite, which, it's, yeah, anyway, another story. Um, if you're just using standard Cal Hypo, again, you do need it, and it'll help in that situation. A couple of tips if you are using standard calcium hypochlorite. Uh, one of them is um, always dissolve it in a bucket. Don't just broadcast it straight in, um, particularly if you're buying it from like a hardware store or a cheap source. They have got so much filler and chalk and carry-on in them that you're going to be forever getting cloudy water. If you're using Cal Hypo, chucking it all in, uh, without dissolving it, um, and you've got cloudy water, that's why. The chlorine that you're choosing to add is adding the cloudiness. Never add your chlorine into the skimmer box. That concentrated dose of bas in, the pump, in the pump, in the basket, all your O-rings, your filter, everything, you're just going to destroy your equipment and cost yourself money. So not a wise choice. So Cal Hypo, sure, pay a bit more for it though, get a better brand, dissolve it in a bucket, and then that last little bit that won't dissolve, guess what? It won't dissolve, chuck it out. Don't put it in your pool, it's only gonna give you cloudy water. So there you go, what is sunblock? And how to use it to, look, to dissolve it. There's a couple of traditional ways. One is like, just get a stocking or a bag or something, hang it over the side and let it be there for a month. Stick it in front of a return if you like. Um, but also, you can, this one, it's not recommended as a regular thing, but you can also add it to the skimmer box. Give the filter a backwash first. Um, so that it's clean, you don't want to add this and then backwash it out, um, and then give it lots and lots of filtration um, as soon as you do it for a good 12, 24 hours, let the filter run, and that'll get it dissolved. Particularly if you buy the fast dissolving stuff, that'll run it through. Don't leave this sitting in a basket overnight or you know in your sand filter cartridge. The truth is, like as you can see, it's cyanuric acid, so it's low in pH. The truth is, a little bit of on your cartridge isn't gonna hurt it. It's actually gonna give it a bit of an acid wash and maybe help dissolve some of the suns, the you know body sunscreen, human sunscreen, and um, fats and so forth that are in there. So it is a bit of a pain to dissolve, but it's a great product. 